What is up, y'all? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be going over all the bowl games that have not happened yet. And then, I will be going over the college football playoff and who I think is going to win it all. Um, starting off, we got Minnesota versus Bowling Green. Somehow, Minnesota made it with a 5-7 and seven record. Don't know how. It was probably some conference thing they do. But, Minnesota's going to whoop them. I mean, they're Minnesota, but like it's a Big Ten team versus a MAC team. If Bowling Green is a Mac team, I'm pretty sure. But Minnesota is going to whoop them. Next, we got a really big one in Texas. We got Texas State versus Rice. This is big because this is Texas State's first bowl game. And I think I have Rice coming away with it. You got JT Daniels, his, his last game of his career. I think they're going to destroy Texas State. Uh, they, they didn't look good versus Texas, but they also didn't look terrible, if that makes sense. And I think they're just the better team. So I got Bryce in this one. Next, we got a pretty big one. Kansas versus UNLV. And Kansas is going to run them out of there. Because Kansas, they're a pretty solid team, right? Uh, they're in the Big 12, obviously. And UNLV is not. They're in the Mountain West. And Kansas, they were pretty close. They beat some good teams. They beat Oklahoma. They're going to destroy UNLV, like, by 20. The line's at 13, at 12 and a half, but Kansas is going to destroy them. The over-under is at 67.5. That's really high. You might have to take the over on that, the way these two pretty offensive teams. But then, we got Virginia Tech versus Tulane. This might be the easiest game for Tulane. They're going to run them out of there. Tulane's a really good team. They're really solid. Um, I'm surprised they weren't the top team. If we go down here, I think it was Liberty because they went undefeated. Uh, Tulane is going to run them out of there, right? Um, got the quarterback. Pretty good numbers for him. The running back is pretty solid, too. Like They're just the better team overall, so I got Tulane winning that. Next, we got North Carolina versus West Virginia and the Duke Mayo Bowl. Um, I'm going to have North Carolina, honestly, because Drake May, he, this is his last game, the show, the NFL. This is how I am as a player. Because not everybody was always tuning into North Carolina games. And, you know, obviously watch back on his tape, right? But uh, Drake May, this is really his game, the show. Like, this is how good I am. He's going against a pretty solid West Virginia team. Uh, they definitely exceeded expectations this year. Yeah, they're pretty solid this year, so I got North Carolina beating them. It's going to be a pretty good matchup. And I honestly think this might be one of the better ball games. Uh, next, we got Louisville versus USC. I don't really know the pick here. I got, I think I got USC in this. Like, honestly, Louisville, the 15th ranked team, I don't think that matters because USC, they got Hill Williams, of course. They do have a lot of guys transferring. Unless Caleb Williams opts out of this bowl game, Louisville is going to get destroyed because you saw they barely they barely could hold their own against a Florida State team without their co starting quarterback. So I don't like USC is going to boat race them. Louisville, not much of a chance. Next, we got one that I'll be personally watching because I got a bunch of friends that are fans of both these fan bases. Oklahoma State versus Texas A&M. And I'll tell you who I want to win. I want Oklahoma State to win because I'm a Texas fan, right? I don't want A&M winning. But there's a lot of factors on this. Depends who plays for A&M. Because if A&M has all their players... Like, if they have some guys that are injured, if they get back in time, a and going to beat them. But if not, Oklahoma State, they're a pretty solid team, right? They got Ollie Gordon, one of the best running backs in the country. Not against Texas, though. 37 yards. Um, he's, He was uh, the winner of the Doak Walker. Great running back. Um, My friend actually just told me this earlier. He is returning next year. So watch out for Oklahoma State in the Big 12. They might be doing some stuff. Yeah, I got Oklahoma State winning this by probably about 10. Um, A&M's just not a very good team this year. They don't have their quarterback, Colonel Wegman. Um, they got an interim head coach. 
Because I don't think Mike Elko. Mike Elko might coach this, but I don't know if he'll be there in time. But yeah, I got Oklahoma State winning this. Next, we got SMU versus Boston College. SMU is going to beat them. Um, SMU is always known as one of those just like really high high offense, high scoring teams. And the only thing I could see that would make them lose this game is the weather. Because it's pretty, it's going to be rainy. It's going to be up in Boston. But SMU, they're really good this year. And they're usually just like an offensive juggernaut. And Boston College looks not that good. So I got SMU winning this game. Uh, next, we got Rutgers, Miami. Also, I don't know who will win this. I got Rutgers as the upset. Even though they might be favored. But uh, Rutgers, they kind of held their own against Ohio State. And Miami's just terrible right now. Like, I don't know what's up with them. They just, their quarterback's not that good. Um, they're obviously doing some stuff in the transfer portal right now and recruiting. But those players don't get here until next year. So I got Rutgers winning that game. Next, got NC State versus Kansas State. This is going to be a pretty good game. Kansas State's going to destroy him. The only thing is, I don't think Will Howard will be playing for Kansas State because he is transferring to, I believe, Washington. So Kansas State should be able to just boat race them. But we'll see. I can stay by about like seven. Kind of close though. Next guy won the bet won the looking better, like looking to be better games. Arizona versus Oklahoma. But I got Arizona being them by ten, right? Arizona giant win streak right now. And honestly, Oklahoma doesn't have their quarterback. They have Dylan Gabriel left to Oregon. They have Jackson Arnold. I don't know how good he is. I haven't seen him. But um, Arizona just looks like a really solid team, and they're going to be in the Big 12 next year, basically replacing Oklahoma. And I think they'll beat Oklahoma by seven. But it will be kind of close because Oklahoma is always pretty close in games. Uh, next, we got Clemson, Kentucky. Clemson should just d destroy him, but who knows? Like, both these teams aren't that good. Yeah, I got Clemson by about seven, but it won't. It might be like a twenty-three to twenty game or something, or twenty to twenty-seven. Like nothing too impressive, but still a pretty solid game. But yeah, that that's gonna be a decent game. Uh, next we have Oregon State versus Notre Dame. Oregon State should be able to beat them, but who knows? Honestly, both these teams had high expectations. Oregon State actually was pretty solid for their expectations. But Notre Dame should have. They, they were supposed to be like top 10 team. They have 16 after some pretty bad losses. But I got Oregon State winning this by about three. It's going to be close, but I think Oregon State, they're, I think they're a pretty good team. And I really like their team this year. Uh, sucks they're going to be part of the pack too. But that's what happens, I guess, money. Um, next, we got Mem Memphis versus Iowa State. Listen to this part. Iowa State is going to destroy Memphis. Because Iowa State just has a really good defense. You saw in the Texas game. Texas beat them. But, like, they were still kind of struggling, right? So, I got Iowa State winning this by, like, 13. Like, it's not going to be that close. Memphis, they're 9-3, but they're not that good. Like, it's Memphis, y'all. I got Iowa State winning that. And now we are getting into some of the bigger bowl games, plus like some random bowl games, but we're getting into some of the bigger ones. We got Missouri versus Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl. This game is very interesting, right? Because you got Ohio State, Kyle McCord's transferring. I think they got Devin Brown as the quarterback. They're going to probably have a lot of players sitting out. You got Missouri. You got Brady Cook, one of the better quarterbacks right now, one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. And I got Missouri beating them by three, right? Um, Missouri, they're a good team, right? They beat some good teams. They only lost to really good teams. A top 10 team. I think this is their year. They're going to beat Ohio State. And I don't think it's going to be... It might be close. But it's not going to be as close as people think, right? They still Ole Miss, Penn State. Honestly, Ole Miss is going to run them out of there. Jackson Dart's really good. I think this guy, I think uh, this running back here is Quentin Junkins. 
Like Ole Miss is just they're gonna destroy him. It's in Georgia, so kind of closer to the Ole Miss. And Penn State, I don't think that's is that good of a team. They just play a pretty sorry Big Ten schedule, and then they lose to Ohio State and Michigan each year. Not that good of a team. Next, I got Auburn versus Maryland. And honestly, Auburn's going to run him out of there. Maryland, you got two his brother. They're not that good. Um, it's in the Music City Bowl, so Auburn should win that, theoretically. But I think I got Auburn by, like, three. But it's going to be sort of close. It's going to be kind of cold, though. 38. Next, we got the game that they're trying to make in the college football playoff, Georgia versus Florida State. In Florida State, they're undefeated. Number five in the country. Georgia has one loss to Bama. Florida State is going to lose by 30. Or maybe not 30. They're going to lose by like 25. Like It's not going to be even be close. Like Florida State, they don't... First of all, Tate Rodemaker announced he's transferring, right? Then you have Jordan Travis is out. Florida State's gonna all their players are gonna probably sit out. And you got Georgia. One probably if you talk about the best teams, probably top four team in the nation. I think they're a better team than Bama. They just lost. And you could say, oh, if you lose to Bama, you're not better than them, right? But there's off days, there's all this stuff, there's all these factors that go into it. But I think George is going to destroy Florida State, show Florida State, improve Kirk Herbstreit, right? Wow, Florida State does not deserve to be in the playoff. And then next, we got Toledo versus Wyoming. Um, I got Wyoming winning this game. About three. I'm a pretty solid team. Beat Texas Tech. Held Texas pretty well. I was in, I was in person at that game. They have a really good running attack. But, yeah, they'll probably beat them by, like, three. Toledo's a pretty good team, though. But I don't watch much. To, I haven't watched much of any Toledo, so I don't know how good they are. But I don't think they're beating Wyoming. I think Wyoming's pretty solid. So I got Wyoming winning that game. Next, we got the game that probably won't matter. But LSU versus Wisconsin, you got Jaden Daniels, Heisman winner. Crazy statistical season. Yeah, a thousand yards rushing and passing. This guy's like Cam Newton, right? But basically, I don't know if he's gonna be in the. I don't know if he's gonna be there. Link neighbors. Who knows if he's gonna play? I got LSU winning this by like ten, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna be like they're just destroying Wisconsin, right? But they're gonna they're gonna win it pretty handily if they have their quarterback or not. Next, we got Liberty versus Oregon. Liberty is about to get destroyed terribly. Like, they're going to look terrible, right? And they're undefeated. They're undefeated right now. But, like, they haven't played anybody good. They're not really a good team. You got Oregon. Only lo only losses are to Washington, and Washington is in the playoff right now. Second team in the nation. So I think Oregon's going to probably win that by, like, 24 is my prediction. By 24, Oregon's going to win that, and it's not going to really be that close. It's got Iowa versus Tennessee. Tennessee and Joe Milton are going to destroy him. Like, Iowa, they they have re they play really good against bad teams, but the good teams, they can't do anything, right? Their really good defense is non-existent when playing good teams, especially if it's a good quarterback. And Iowa's going to probably lose this by, like, 10, but... Still a pretty good season for them. 10-4. Still pretty solid. Big 10 runner-ups. Next, we got Alabama versus Michigan. Um, Obviously, Rose Bowl. Really big game, right? And looking at this game, looking at this game, I'm seeing there's one thing. Obviously, Alabama has one loss. Texas, also in the playoff. But there's one thing I look at for this, right? Michigan has only played as their best games, Ohio State and Penn State, right? Everybody else, bums, right? And, like, when I say bums, obviously, they're respectable programs, but they're nothing like, like, Michigan should be beating them by a bunch. Like, any good team is going to beat these teams, right? 
in Alabama, they have been some really good teams. If we if we look in their if we look at their schedule, they meet MTSU, Mil- Middle Tennessee. They lost to Texas at home. Not really that good of a loss. South Florida beat them. Ole Miss beat them by 14. This top 15 team. But Ole Miss is actually a really good team too. So beat about a top 10 team by 14. Blue at Mississippi State. Pretty solid. Blue at A&M. I'll, well, not blew them out, but beat them by six, right? But A&M probably keeps them close, right? Beat Arkansas, who's kind of sketchy. Uh, beat Tennessee, who's a top 25 team by 14. A beat LSU in the Heisman winner. How much is that? 14? Yeah, beat LSU in the Heisman winner. Won the best large series in the nation by 14. Uh, at Kentucky, blew him out. Kentucky was pretty solid. Chad Nuga, no one really cares. Blew him out, of course. Barely beat Auburn, but proved that they can like win like last second, right? Beat Auburn at Auburn, and then beat Georgia, who's the number one team in the nation. To me... That SEC slate is way more impressive than whoever Michigan has played, right? Michigan hasn't really played anybody that good. Like, if we even pulled their schedule, so I'll show y'all. East Carolina, UNLV, Bowling Green. No really good teams, right? Rutgers, kind of mid. Nebraska, mid. Minnesota, bad. Indiana, bad. Michigan State, bad. Purdue, mid. Penn State, solid, but not really that good. Like, you can say, oh, it's the 10th in the nation because they don't play anybody either, right? They just win. Maryland barely beats Maryland. That Maryland, of course. It's not that good of a team. Barely beats them. Ohio State barely beats Ohio State, which is fair, though, because Ohio State's a really good team. Big rivalry, right? And then both of Iowa. Iowa, of course, they don't have an offense. To me, Alabama's schedule is way more impressive. And that's why I got Alabama winning this by seven, right? I think they're a better team. I think they have the better coach. And I think Saban is really, he knows, he knows he needs to win this game, right? Now, he already has Mason Legacy, right? But if Saban wins this game, like I don't think anybody will ever be able to prove that there's another coach better than him, right? And he's going to, Probably that'll be the big best di- best dynasty of all time, easily. And he can really show he can deny what people saying he's old and he doesn't have his touch anymore. If he beats Michigan here, even if he loses in the championship, right? He can really prove everybody wrong. So that's why I got Alabama by seven. Next, we got the University of Texas versus Washington. And this game, there's a lot of stuff that comes down to it, right? I'm obviously a Texas fan, right? This rematch of last year where Texas lost. I'm a Texas fan. I've watched most, multiple games in person, right? And looking at Texas schedule, they beat Rice at home pretty easily. Went into Alabama. The number, th- the number four seed in the playoff went into Alabama and beat them by double digits. And a night game, too. Like, really impressive, right? Beat Wyoming by a lot. Beat Baylor by a lot. Dominated Kansas' top 25 team. Lost Oklahoma by four on a last last minute drive. Uh, that game's always going to be close. If you lose r- rivalry games, like, they're always close. You can't, you can't really put too much blame on that. And Oklahoma is always going to play their A game versus Texas. And they're also a pretty solid team. Uh, beat Houston by seven with our with our quarterback out, and so our quarterback out at Houston. Houston, like they usually play, is pretty good. Beat him by seven, right? Blew out BYU with our back quarterback Lee Mur- Murphy, who's going to Duke actually, and I think he's going to do pretty good there. Beat Kansas State. I was at this game, and it was crazy because Kansas State is overtime, right? They went. They went for the touchdown instead of kicking the field goal to go into double overtime, right, and get another chance. They went for the touchdown. Texas stopped them. That really showed to me how Texas can really just show how, like, they can, like, stay put. And even if they're they're losing at one point to Kansas State, 
And they came back and won that game. Kansas State, top 25 team, beat them. TCU beat them by three. Honestly, again, with our back, again, I think this might have been Quinn in this game. This might have been Quinn Ewers' first game back, but it was at TCU. Quinn Ewers was getting back. We still beat him. And that score is not as close as the game actually was if you watched it. Texas really had the momentum most of the game. And TCU scored some, like, last quarter points. Uh, next, we got Iowa State. Iowa State always plays this pretty close, but Texas came out in the win at Iowa State. And Iowa State, I think, is one of the best defenses in college football. I was at this game, this next one. Blew out Texas Tech, 57-7. to And Tech, this is the last, last time we play them, rivalry. And we blew them out 57-7. to um, We even had our backups in, like, we had our backups in the third quarter. Texas Tech. Um, and they're, in my opinion, a pretty solid team. And we blew them out, so I think that's a great win for Texas. Then, with the Big 12, everybody in the Big 12 against them, aside from Oklahoma, because all the Oklahoma fans, I know a lot of Oklahoma fans, they all wanted Texas to win this game, right? Oklahoma State beat them by 40, beat them 49-21. And this is the game. First of all, our defensive lineman had a touchdown, right? Offensive touchdown. That's how good he is. But they had the Doak Walker Award winner, running back Ollie Gordon, one of the best running backs in the nation. Um, and we held him the 37 yards on 13 carries. That is crazy, right? Texas is one of the best run defenses. Now, if we go to Washington, this is, again, another really good team, right? I think Washington's another really good team. All these games here, they should have won. They'd beat them all. Cal blew them out. Barely beat Arizona. Arizona's a good team. I admit that. Uh, barely beat Oregon. Oregon's another good team. Arizona, Arizona State barely won that, even though Arizona State sucks. Should have blown them out. Stanford, one of the worst teams in the country, barely beat them. I mean, by nine, of course. That's, that's barely, though, for like how good this team is, right? Uh, beat USC by 10. Honestly, their defense didn't look that good in that. USC really put up the points on them. Beat Utah by seven. Utah solid. I'll admit that. Beat Oregon State by two. Oregon State's another solid team. Beat Washington State by three. I mean, you should have won that by more, but I'll give them credit there. And then beat Oregon again by three. So you have good. You don't have. You have good wins, right? But there's too many like games that were close. They don't they don't really have an excuse for. Right. Like Texas, these games that were close, they have an excuse for. And I might be sound, I might be sound, sounding biased here, right? But they have an excuse for it being close. Washington, in my opinion, didn't. So, my final prediction. I got Texas winning this game by a last minute field goal by Burt Auburn, one of the best kickers in the country. And I got Texas win this game. I think Washington, they're going to put up a hell of a fight. But Texas is just going to edge them out because I think Texas is the better coach team. I think Sark is an amazing coach. I think we got better culture. And I got Texas winning this. And that will leave an Alabama Texas final, a rematch. And being not biased here, I think Alabama would probably be Texas because I think Bama is a better team than Texas. Because I'm just picking the better teams here, right? I don't care about the media narrative. I think of the better team. Who would I pick? Who would I bet my house on? I would bet my house on Alabama here. And Alabama would probably beat Texas. Now, I also want Texas to win that matchup, but Alabama, there's a better team. They're a really good team this year. Better coach. Better team. Nick Saban's amazing against his assistants. So I got Alabama winning the Natty this year. Y'all might not want to hear that, but... I got Alabama one in, and uh, that's it for this video. Um, Merry Christmas, all y'all. Y'all see this on Christmas. If not, make sure to like. If not, make sure to like, subscribe. Um, I've been. I'm trying to post more now. Um, and all y'all just have a good day. God bless y'all.